Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, it's 915 AD and the Battle of Gagriano is about to begin. It is a force of Christian forces, a coalition you may call it, fighting against the Emirate of Sicily, representing the Muslim forces that were at Gagriano's day. Today we have the Byzantine Empire. We have the Papal States, led by the Pope himself, Pope John X, and we also have the Duchy of Benevento here, who has just been sallied on by a load of uh, Muslim uh, horsemen. We've got male cavalry coming out of, on the walls here, loads and loads of male cavalry. You can see that, that there was a little force that's actually going to go around and do something. I don't know what that was going to do, but it looks like they're going to go for the artillery, these male horsemen, and they are just bailing forward these uh, infantry right now. That is a, a real dire thing that they have to go and do. Send these uh, infantry for forward just to save their artillery piece. I mean, their artillery is pretty key, but is it worth all this infantry? I don't know. What's this infantry called? Gastelad and Swordsman. So you are probably wondering, what are all these funny factions that are here today, Pope? And we are, uh, you may ask that indeed, and I will answer. We have the Age of Vikings mod here today showing off. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Siege of Gagliano, uh, 14... Well, fought in 915 AD. I mean, it's not as the Battle of Gagliano, but the ba apparently there was a siege there. Um, taking some fortress held by uh, the Muslims. And here they go. We're going to have a nice little charge here into these Gaslad infantry. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. And it already doesn't look like the balance power is very much in favor of the uh, Muslims, even though they have only like a thousand less men. Um, but they're trying to sally out, deal with some of these uh, artillery, try and make it a little bit harder for the... Uh, the the attackers, basically, even though they've already made one breach, it was pretty quick. Um, but yeah, this was a, uh, a basically a fight at this point to basically retake this part of Italy. At this point in history, the Muslims have taken Sicily, they've taken a, a fair chunk of southern Italy, and yeah, they, they're going they're going for for Rome probably. I could imagine if they got the chance. But uh, yeah, you can see a large army just duking it out uh, across, basically just across the city. That's kind of funny. There's a huge one here. Uh, like Bastion on just, just setting up, just firing over. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this was sent in by a member of the Discord, uh, my Discord. So if you'd like to join the Discord, send in your own replays or take part in some of these scenarios, then feel free to do so. The link is down below in the description. And also, feel free to uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment if you're enjoying seeing all these new uh, like scenarios and mods uh, on the channel at the moment. Oh, if you just want to help the channel out, then feel free to do so. Much appreciated, as always. But it looks like we've got some, uh, like, African heavy infantry. Going to be the first into the line. They're going to be holding the line for the Muslims. Uh, in, in history, this was a, uh, a coalition victory, and, like, Benevento goes on to be formed, which is kind of weird that, like, Dutch Benevento's here, because they've yet to actually be formed. They get formed after this battle, basically, or, like, it's one of the results of this, like, campaign. And, uh... The Byzantine Empire at this point in history is like pretty weak, but they get become like a whole lot stronger because they get to hold like most of like southern Italy once again. And you can see like uh, I think they're using explosive round I think to try and destroy this unit. It's kind of a bit bizarre. Just just wouldn't even bother. But they're saying I like this uh, this city pretty effectively. You can see uh, bits of the building going up. But um, yeah, it's quite good to see like the papal states here. Obviously, being my, a pope myself, these papal guardsmen here doing their best. They don't look as uh, cool as some of the other units in 1212, but I guess that's kind of like. Because in like 915, like that Dark Ages period, like it's just between Thrones of Britannia and well, it's actually kind of like the Thrones of Britannia period. It's like Thrones of Britannia just for Attila, basically, is this mod. Um, but it's kind of like between that 1212 and uh, Attila period, you kind of would say. So, like the Huns have been and gone, the, the West has fallen, the East isn't far off. Uh, actually, well, it's got about another 500 years left in it. That's kind of mad to say, to be honest. Oh yeah, this is this empire's nearly fallen. It's got like only 500 years more to die. It's a slow death. I've got cataractoy lances coming up though. I also realised in this mod that nearly everyone has uh, circular shields. It's clearly in style fashion at the moment. If you don't know that, if you don't have a circular shield, you're just a bit of a just a bit of a loser. It seems in this part of the world. We're gonna have cataractoy lances going. Oh, that's a nice little hit there from the catapult. Just kill like a bunch of men before these cataracts come flying in. And they'll charge in. I mean, lances or not, uh, and shield wall or not, the lances will do damage. These guys will knock down a load of them. And uh, you can see some uh, Berber spears coming up now. They're coming up to deal with these uh, lances. They're pretty poor spear unit, but a spear's a spear. It'll kill a horse. And there you go. You can see them scaring them off. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the, uh, in the battle, it's the Fatimid, uh, the Fatimid Sultanate that's basically uh, there in reality, but they use the... Uh, 
Emirates uh, Sicily in this, which should be okay. I mean, look at that cataphract unit. It's already nearly dead. Wow. I think he's going to go in here and try and take out this uh, heavy infantry unit. It's going to get focused down. There you go. Breaks just like that. That's the first loss for the Byzantines. And the Byzantines are one of the few that don't have uh, any... Well, any... Uh, well, circular shield is what I was going to go with. They got, they still go with the old kite shield, which I'm glad to see. This guy's got an oval shield. He's mixing up even more. But yeah, so we've got a lot of like imperial scooter toy here. They've got like triple cold chevron scooter toy. Jeez, these guys are going to be insane. That's why I think the balance power is a little bit too uh, unfair on the defenders. They're uh, having a little bit of a rough time. Even if they are supposed to lose in history, they don't. They, they ever should have a chance of winning it really. In, in the, the recreated version. But here we go. We can see a lot of uh, Gaslad Swordsmen already going. This is four units of Gaslad Swords getting piled in here. And this is going to be the first infantry on infantry combat we see. Uh, this is uh, probably a little bit too much. I don't know who was playing as uh, Benevento, but they uh, they might want to just rethink the strategy of just piling in four units of infantry because, uh, well, you can see there's uh, archers going up on these walls. And if these male archers just start firing down here, easy pickings. I mean, I think they are trying to destroy... I think they're just trying to destroy this tower. Oh, no, they're destroying the gate. Why are they destroying the gate? Such a bizarre thing to go for. Still going to pour oil on you. You haven't captured it. Um, they should really just take out this wall with the archers on. It's a better idea. Uh, I think that's what they're going to try and do. What have we got here? The Gasla Guardsman. Ooh, silver gold. A silver, silver gold. A silver chevron general. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of uh, Benevento's models. They kind of just look like Vikings, but just... Yeah, just like Vikings, really. They don't look anything too special. But, I mean, they've got a lot of guardsmen and stuff like that. Yeah, guardsmen all seem to be also spears. You can't seem to have a sword guardsman. It's just not the thing at this period. But I like their shields. I mean, I actually like the guardsmen for Benevento. They're probably one of their best units. But uh, I haven't really checked out this mod enough. I'll have to do some more on this mod. It looks really good. And obviously, with the Papal States in it, that's always, that's always a plus. They're now landing on the walls. They've uh, got their mailed swords up here. They look like they're facing a load of Berber Spears. Should be able to mince through these as a tier 1 unit. I think they're fighting a, uh, the Mailed Swords at tier 2 or tier 3. So, I mean, they've got loads of Chevrons anyway. So, it doesn't really matter what tier they are. They, they should do work. Landing on the walls like this. Just cutting down men that are just so poorly armoured in compa comparison to them. See over here, they're just doing a just good job. Just killing all these guys. You need to get some archers up here to the... Uh, do the defenders just shoot all these uh, guys that come around? I mean, they actually are now. I don't know if they're going to use them there, but who knows? And here goes another clash of infantry. Looks like it's going to be the Papal States going in down, fighting in the streets now against the African heavy infantry. Obviously, yeah, the uh, the invaders, the Muslim invaders, they come from like North Africa. That's kind of like their origin. So, I mean, it's no surprise. Uh, it's kind of where like all of uh, the Muslim forces come from, apart from obviously originally like Arabia, but. Uh, Quite interested to see what they can do. I mean, these knights. Oh, they've got knights in here. Okay. Got some papal knights. They're going to try and get through this gap. That's not a bad idea. Get through that gap and you can get in behind. Do some more damage. I think the uh, African player, or African, the Sicilian player has seen it. He wants to send up these swords. Uh, really, you should just commit to it. Just send those knights and go for the, that unit there. This African infantry unit. And then just bounce off that one into that one. And you just do a lot of damage. That's what I'd say anyway. That's my, that's what I do, but then I come up with some weird mad plans, so who knows. Uh, this unit here is going to have to be focused down. I don't think it's got that many kills. It's killed some horsemen, yeah, but it's going to lose a lot more men to these uh, to these arrows. And look at them. They're just standing strong. They're unfazed by these arrows just flying in around them. They don't care. And uh, let's go and have a look and see how Benevento is doing. Benevento doesn't look like he's having a good time. He's actually losing this fight. He's having to send in all of, his, all of his infantry. I mean, no surprise. Look at these archers. They are literally able to just gun down anything that comes over this, like, lip of this breach here. It's insane. You see the arrows are flying over. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty nasty. And uh, we'll have to see what happens here. Oh, large energy. What's he firing at? What is he firing at with this fireballs? Just, I think he's firing at this wall. He is. Oh, oh dear. That was a lot of archers just disappeared off the end of that uh, wall. How many more are going to go? We're going to see another arrow. Yeah, another one's coming in here. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dear. So, yeah, well, there's another hole in the hole in the wall here that they've now got to plug up. And it looks like it's going to be some uh, African infantry going in. Not the heavy stuff, just, just the normal infantry. How different do they look? Oh, I can see they have, like, no chain mail. Or like that. They're just, like, in padded jackets or whatever you call that. And it looks like male archers. Look at these poor male archers. They now have a good sp uh, like spectators who just watch as like the battle unfolds. They literally can't do anything now. I mean, they can fire their ammo that they have, but apart from that, 
they're watching the rest of the battle for them. Uh, as you can see here, these uh, poor guardsmen just coming through the gate. I presume that the gate, they hold it, the, the Muslims? Yeah, there's a thing here. With oil, yeah, they hold it. So really, they should be pouring oil down on these guardsmen. So you should never really attack through a gate. Never should attack through a gate, especially in Attila. Uh, with the arch towers just being as brutal as they are. And also the oil. Oil is just a pain. I don't think, I, I don't think I've seen any being released yet, but... Uh, easy way to tell if there's uh, any dead bodies down there. I can't actually tell. There might be, there might not be. These guardsmen, they do look cool. I won't admit. I will admit they look quite cool. Not a fan of the Gaslad swords. I just don't think there's really much special, like, well work gone into them. But, uh, but I mean, I'm liking the looks of, uh, like, the Byzantines. They look like they've had a bit of work. I'm not really a fan of, like, the, uh, the cream yellow and, like, the gold. But, uh, like, the combo, it doesn't really work for me. But that's fair enough. I mean, maybe that's the reason why everyone hated them and tried to kill them. Because they were going with these weird combos for their armies. I think that might be it. I've cracked it, guys. Why did everyone help the Byzantines? It's because of their choice in, uh, well, in fashion, basically. And we've got male Toxite here that's just, like, firing them. Oh, my God, they're focusing on Berber Levy. No, not a good unit to focus on. Shoot down these uh, African, like, heavy infantry here. That's what you need to kill. Kill all them. They're coming through the gates again. This one definitely has oil. Yeah, this one has oil and that one's killing. Uh, that one is definitely killing the Byzantines. They need to be careful of that. I mean, they have luckily got their men mostly through the gate. Uh, so they should be okay, but it's it's just silly. Why risk your men basically just through a gate? I mean, they have the men and the numbers that they could probably overwhelm just about anyway. They've got like a tower here that they haven't even used. But... It, it's just no need. Just don't waste your men going through a gate. Basically, all I can say to that. Uh, oh, it's got like a little force over the back here. I did mention at the beginning. Looks like some cavalry's come up the street, basically die charging in some Alag Alagvid guardsmen. These guys look pretty nice. This must be the most elite unit I think I've seen for the Muslims yet. Yeah, I like and look at these guys. Again, the the, the gold just the gold armor doesn't really do it for me. It doesn't look like it's quite well done. Um, but. Not as good as, like, say, like, 12-12, but you've got some Gaslad swords coming up here. Uh, all they really need to do is just put one arch unit up on the wall here, and these spears will hold forever while the archers rack up kills. Uh, what's this unit called? Lombard, Gessindi, Lancers. Yeah, we've already, already seen them. They, they look quite cool. Yeah, over here, look at this. Benevento getting absolutely trashed. He's got three units left in reserve on this side. Then it's his general. I think this side has got it. I think, uh... I think whoever's playing this Emirate of Sicily force is probably going to beat, probably going to beat Benevento. He's sending in so many troops on his own. He's got so many upgrades. I don't know if it's the reason they have upgrades is because just like the Christian forces units are just awful. They're just underpowered. I don't know. But they're just not able to break through. I mean, maybe it didn't help that the Benevento's been charged a few times by cavalry, but... I think it'd be this major damage. Did not think it'd be this bad, but uh, yeah, this is certainly going to be an interesting one. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Oh my gosh, did those Berbers just win that fight. Berber spears beat mailed swords, and you can see here that the general now, the Pope, is engaged. He's uh, fighting some mailed cavalry. How dare they have the audacity to go after the Pope? Kill the Pope? How dare they? You can see some uh, guardsmen. Some sw um, like the early version of the Swiss Guard getting sent in uh, to help the Pope. I mean, it's not the Swiss Guard. The Swiss Guard weren't recruited yet. Uh, but it's kind of cool to think like they've got Papal Guards already defend the Pope. I'm sure they already did. The Pope's a very important man. He needs defending. I have my own Papal Guards, uh, my own Swiss Guard in my uh, Discord. So we, we always need some, uh, some bodyguards, some loyal bodyguards. See this little uh, duel going on here on the uh, on the walls. Oh, the cameras for the walls are so bo like not buggy, but just so annoying. Like move it one bit and just like fall off the wall. And I'm like, oh great, there we go again, sort of thing. And um, these archers must be getting some really good kills. I mean, they are just focusing down into the backs of all of these uh, African heavy infantry. Smart play by the, uh, like, the the uh, Sicily Sicilian players. I got his men in uh, loose formation while still fighting these uh, guardsmen. But 
Like, is it really enough? These guys are still getting focused down. They are losing a fair few men every volley. And they are actually beating these guardsmen. They are pretty low. These people guardsmen maybe aren't as good as they, uh, as they sound. They are getting absolutely annihilated. Maybe they are also getting uh, shot by archers. Who knows? I mean, they're, they're also spears fighting swords. However good you are as a spear, you usually need to tell us spears versus swords. Doesn't end very well. And there you go, look at that, Lombardy is like, not Lombardy, Benevento is like, lost everything that was in that breach, now they're sending more. He's got his uh, guardsmen now fighting in here, they're doing their bit, they actually seem to be doing that, uh, having a bit more joy, they are losing though still. Jeez. And yeah, he's sending in more and more troops. Uh, I presume, yeah, that looks like the oil's been going off back there, look at that pile of bodies, that has got to be oil. Or it's the uh, arch towers, it's one or the other. Either way, he's losing a lot of men just through arch, just attacking through this gate. He probably had the ammo he could have taken out three breaches. Uh, he still decided insisting on destroying this tower, which just seemed a bit silly. And it looks like the engagement started at the back here. These uh, Aglabid uh, guards been doing their bit, holding the uh, back against the uh, Benevento forces. Benevento also did send his troops around here, which is why he's probably like got no reserves and it looks like he's doing so badly. He's like got another force around here, while like. The Byzantines and the Papal States could basically just focus on one front. Didn't even need to do this, did uh, Benevento, but he decided to. It's not a bad idea. Best idea would have been to wait until, like, the Muslim forces basically used up all their reserves elsewhere. They were, like, strained to, the, like, the point of breaking, but they're really not at the moment. I mean, they, they have reserves. I mean, the Byzantines need to send stuff in, I think. They need to go down the street. They need to get moving. Um... They need to come down here. They, they could have come down here. I mean, this is still just Berber levy. This is nothing special. And after that, it's uh, some of these African heavy infantry, which they, they've been able to master like nine times out of ten at the moment. But uh, yeah, they need to send us some Scutatoi, which is like the main uh, frontline unit of the Empire at this point. But, yeah, they need to send some in. They're losing here at the Imperial Scutatoi. This is a triple gold chevron, and it's losing to these uh, African Heavy Infantry. I mean, it helps that, like I said, the towers are helping. And that's massive. It is huge that they're helping. I imagine the towers are, like, getting hundreds of kills. Hundreds of kills, probably. And there you go, look at that. This African Infantry unit here. It's 47 men left, and it's broken, like, this Scooter Toy 43, and this one here, 32. They probably shouldn't have done that. This, this Knight unit here's got to charge through this line. It's got to charge, or go for the archers, like, one or the other. Oh, it's going to go for the archers. Smart, I'd say. I'd agree. Smart idea. Take out these uh, archers and run down here and just run after all those slingers. That'll be what I do. Just pull through. Pull through with these knights. Kill them all. For his holiness, the Pope. God on Earth. Kind of a weird title he gets, basically. These uh, mailed archers seem to be actually okay in combat. I mean, actually, I say that one's losing quite badly. I take it back. They're not. Papal Guardsmen now fighting a uh, Berber Levy. Yeah, these Guardsmen, I mean, they just, it's, they need to take these towers. They just need to take towers. I mean, they're fighting hard just to capture towers, to be honest, at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Benevento looks in a real bit of trouble here. General is, like, in combat. I mean, maybe, how did that cavalry get through? Did it just maybe go around? I don't know. But the general's dealt with it. He needs to get his general out of there. I mean, what have they got left? Archers. They need to get these archers up and, like, start shooting over the top. If they got these archers, like, to the edge of the wall here, fired over the top, they could kill a bunch of these defenders. Because that's what the, uh, the defenders have been doing to the attackers. They've been using their archers to uh, help in the infantry fight. But it feels like uh, Benevento's been using his archers to kill opposing archers, which just isn't worth it. Just not worth it. Yeah, look at that. The general's just trying to pull through. He's going to get himself killed. Going to get himself... We're going to see... Well, we're going to see Benevento go out first. He'll probably see his general die first. Which is no surprise. He was first in. Um, yeah, yeah, he had a rough time. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He had a rough, rough time. But, uh, yeah, look at that pull through. Wow. Yeah, that unit is dropping. Oh, my gosh. If there was a speed unit in there, that would be even worse. Yeah, there we go. General is dead. That's Benevento's general dead. That'll cause the chain route. I mean, there's literally nothing left for Benevento. And it's going to become a 3v2. And the uh, the defenders apparently still have, like, no chance. Uh, but the balance power is now in favor of... Uh, well, I'd say it's in favor of the defenders. They have more men. They have 3,900 when I last checked. 
3,800, I mean, to 3,600 attackers. I mean, whether the chevrons will come in handy now would be a good time if they were going to do so. You see the scooter toy here. Look at these guys. Facing off against African uh, heavy infantry. Finally attacked down the street. It's a bit too late, I think. Uh, I don't know if they killed those Berber spears. They might, they might have gone elsewhere, but... It was earlier, this uh, this whole avenue was open, just, you could get to the archers. They also sent their cavalry in way too early, like, they just sent in cavalry, just sent it around, and then just decided, oh yeah, let's just send it in on its own. Not really a good idea, I think, like, cavalry's gonna be used, like, you break through with infantry, and then you, like, send the cavalry in to, like, take out archers, or... Like, Napoleon always was famous to say, like, you send archers to, uh, like, send uh, cavalry to support the infantry, or infantry to support the cavalry. He supposedly famously said that. He may not have. What we've got here, Tamagata uh, Cavalry. These guys just look like the uh, Scooter Toy but on horseback. It's the only problem, again, like, I feel like there's just a lack of variation in modelling, which is a bit of a shame. But you can see here, these Scooter Toy have broken through. They're now into these archers, and you can see already that the, uh, the Muslim Force is having to bail a lot of stuff in there. What we've got, got in here, the Mail Cavalry. Pull back the swords, they're going to try and fall them back. I think they're probably just going to try and hold this trick from here. They are, it's not a bad idea. The artillery is going off, absolutely like flying off. Uh, and then we've got these uh, Imperial Scooter Toy coming up the street. Coming up the street. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a more of a fan of the uh, Dark Ages mod, like Byzantine Empire, than uh, this mod. But it's still good. It is still good. And there you go, look at this. Benevento has just been cleaned up. Like, they, they're just gone. Gaslad swords wavering. Oh my god, these poor archers. Never charge into cavalry while, well, unless you're other cavalry, really. Such a bizarre decision. Yeah, these guys just gonna get cut down, just jabbed to death. And that's one attacker out by the looks of it. I mean, but the the two OG ones are still left. You still got the Papal States. God bless them. And you still got the Byzantine Empire. Uh, I, I don't know what Warcry you'd say for. I mean, I guess you'd say Roma and Victor. Roma, Roma and Victor is probably a decent idea, who knows. Maybe the spear units are bugged out and there's a papal guard and can't get off the wall. Might be the case. Uh, have they still got ammo on this orange yet? They do not. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I, uh, I don't know what they're going to do then. We get some cavalry around here, could the uh, Arabians. They could just send like all around here, go and just reach here, just kill these archers and take out all the, uh, sh all the infantry. It's not a bad idea. But, it looks like the uh, Imperial Armies, the Coalition Forces, the Byzantine Empire has got to the, fi the first of the final choke points. He's, uh, he's fighting up there. Looks like those spears, you know, those elite spears, those uh, alag uh, aglav aglavid uh, guardsmen, however you call it. But, I mean, they desperately need to give out all these forces here. They now need to rush them back to help now that Benevento's gone. I mean, it looks like uh, it looks like the business seems to be doing okay. Yeah, it's only about 100 men in it. Only about 100 men in it. This unit up here is stuck on the wall. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, it is actually stuck on the wall. That is a real, really annoying. Literally, if they'd literally just put the hole like, to the right there, they could have got off this wall here. Ah, uh, well. And uh, it looks like they, uh, they're going to overwhelm this unit here. The the paper states that there's nothing left. Nothing left. Whose general is this? Oh, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know why I asked that. They're all, they, the they have all the same one. Whose gates have just fallen? Oh, okay. Well, those African infantry, they can't really do much. I'd like to see if there's a, oh, they are definitely, aren't they? they there's no way they can get off. The, the infantry. <laughs> Oh, arch unit, sorry, like just stuck up here. It's like, yeah, don't mind me. Uh, just do my thing. Just do my thing. Just sightseeing. Um, but it looks like now that this uh, army that's on this side fighting Benevento, basically is a straight punch straight for. Uh, oh no, wait a minute, it's not the cap. They're not capping it. They're defending it. Duh. Well done, Pope. Uh, that's why they're not defending it uh, this side really. I was gonna say they had a straight push up here, but. No, they don't. I mean, it looks like the Byzantines might have a straight push up onto the uh, flank along with the Papal States. Everyone in bet's going to form shield wall or something like that. Seems like a very Thrones of Britannia thing you'd do. 
This basically being thrown Britannia's uh, brainchild. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. What are they sending in? Uh, they're just sending in archers, okay. Fair enough. I mean, I guess the archers will hold back these infantry, but not for long. Not for long at all. And uh, over here, it looks like they're still sending stuff up. Uh, I wonder if you can get, uh, like, shock infantry in this mod. Surely you could, like, Vrangin Guard, possibly. I would have thought, like, maybe the uh, Viking, like, factions might have shock infantry. I'll have to try out this mod, like I said, a few more times. Do some sieges and stuff like that. Fun to try. See what uh, factions everyone's got. Or, like, units every faction's got, sorry. Not what... Everyone's got the same factions, Pope. Unless you have, like, a tester version, then... Screw you! Uh, but yes, I mean, they are pretty low on uh, men of the defenders. It's 300 man difference now. They have reopened up that gap, have the attackers as well into them. We've got a general and general out there. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, it's going to be the Byzantine general that's going to win. Oh, it's not Byzantine. The uh, Muslim general is going to win against the papal general. That's a real, real shame. No! Can't kill the Pope. Where is he? That might be him there. That might be him. No, 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 it's not, it's not. I can't see him. Maybe that was him that I saw. I don't think it was, but... Uh, it does look like they've they've routed that cavalry, and that's a shame. They have infantry, they should really get a long, large on inside. I actually generally think that this guardsman unit here is stuck. Otherwise, they probably would have got it up and done something, uh, like... Again here. I don't know why I haven't got the large ones to crew up. It's just like 40 men you can throw in somewhere. It's funny. Uh, it looks like... It also looks like people... Well, I was going to say people guard. Uh, well, actually, there you go. they got one of the artillery pieces doing its thing. The guardsmen just do not want to be here. Oh, this guy's two-handing. Oh, he just got stabbed, poor man. So he's two-handing his sword, which is a one-hander. Shows what a newbie is at a sword, swords, uh, sword ability? Yeah, I don't know, what do you call it? Swordsman shit, that's the one. I'm such a, like, a blank day on, uh, like, knowledge. It's what uni does to you. The cavalry moving up. Oh no, moving away, in fact. I don't know why they don't just send their cavalry out around here. Oh, there actually is a huge chain out going on over here. What is causing this? Mailed swords of Sicily. Causing a huge chain out against like archers, swords, the lot. It. Yeah, it's where everything just broke there, and you can see, oh my gosh, this carries charged to be nasty. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, I keep forgetting that, like, the people in gold are not the attackers. They usually are if I'm playing. We have captured the gates. Whoever just captured the gate now, it's a little bit late. Attack or defender. The standard bear is just very unimpressive in comparison to like other other mods or games. It's just was like, yeah, I've got a stick, okay, leave it out. But it does look like uh, it does look like the paper slate is next to go. Got the uh, do guard around here. It's the Duke's guard. The men are running, cowards. Leading a force here. What is this? Oh, is it the bodyguard? Yeah. Oh, it's the guardsman. Yeah. Well, there's a 200 swords unit for a moment. I was like, oh my gosh. What a unit. Answer power's now looking pretty good. 1900 to 1200. Definitely looking in favor of the uh, 
the, Mus the Muslims. How many of that is actually uh, infantry? I don't know. They have a lot of archers left. Just love these bird's eye views of like all the battles. You see the little jewels going on. Apparently, there's 20 minutes left in this battle. I don't see how it can have 20 minutes left in this battle. There's literally nothing left for the, uh, the Byzantines or the uh, other Byzantines, the uh, Abbasids, to like win with. They're just gonna beat the Byzantines. That's it. It looks like uh, the cavalry's just gonna charge down this in this uh, artillery piece, which is fair enough. I mean, what else? What else do you ask for? No, no, mercy. That's what they're gonna get. They're gonna get given mercy. What's this? We got cavalry here again. Jew guard. The a do guard, isn't it? It's not Jew. Not Jew. No, no. Do guard. A do group. Spears holding the line. Burbs. Oh, it's not the Burbs. It's the uh, guardsmen. They got the. Uh, them in there. They should, I'm surprised they didn't bring more of them. I mean, maybe they weren't allowed to. Maybe the infantry is pretty awful for the uh, Christian forces. That's why they have like so many gold chevrons. Because like these Emirate of Sicily guys are pretty damn nasty. They're like held for a long time. Maybe uh, that along with the uh, arch towers and some other mistakes they made. They did it. They just did a bad job. Did a bad job. It's kind of cool looking from that angle. I kind of like it. Uh, they got cavalry just lined up here. This is the general. I presume he's going to just uh, punch some morale, or like some morale, some uh, orders out, or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? General over here. Some guard cavalry. I'm just looking for other stuff. What's going to come? And I mean, like, what remains of the papal states is here. They got their guard here. I mean, there's a bit of reserves here, but not like masses. So when the elite necessity to come in, oh my gosh, firing arrows from like miles back. I uh, presume it's there. These male archers firing, or it might be these ones here. Yeah, it's got to be those ones. They're just doing the morale damage, which is a fairly good decision. These Imperial Scooter toy here. Look at this, there's like no uh, like strong units in it, losing decisively. It's got triple gold chevron. It's insane. They're firing at the generals here. Not a bad idea. Uh, it's still got this unit on the wall here, which I don't think it can get off. No, I don't think it can. That's a poor, that's a real shame. Uh, but yeah, they're actually just firing fires, arousing things like the Imperial, uh, or the uh, the Archers, Mel, Toxite. They'll, they'll route most of the other stuff as well eventually. So this is some good plays here by the uh, by the Islamic forces. I really thought they didn't have it in them. They've uh, basically just... Well, they had, like, no men left. Well, they had started with, like, no, like power on the bar, like a balance of power. And now it's like, they have the men. They have 600 more men. Papal Guardsmen now getting involved. They're gonna get those white cloaks covered in blood. Covered. They need to. They've got to kill like hundreds of men to get this even even. Don't know what they did wrong. Maybe Benevento just isn't a great faction. But there were plenty of other uh, factions at this battle. This is just the major three that they chose. was like the Duchy of Spoleto, there's the Duchy of uh, Gaeta, or Gita, however you say it. Um, there's like the Kingdom of Italy. Obviously, it's not like a real thing at this point. It's like uh, it's like an honorary thing. It's like the Imperial Imperial uh, Holy Roman Emperor. Like, like it has the title King of Italy. Actually, no, there is a King of Italy at this point. There's like the split. Um, the split at this point has happened so there's like three or four different kings. Oh my god, they sent out a general, another general fight going on. It's the uh... Dude's bodyguard in here. And he's gonna fight it out. I mean, I don't think he's gonna win this fight. Berber Levy. So this is the thing they have, like, they just have men that they can send in. They've got another general here. Yeah, guard carry. I mean, yeah, it's just nasty. Look at these poor guys. Surely they're gonna break pretty damn soon. And then, after this, surely the Byzantines are just gonna go. They're just gonna disappear. 
Unless in these lasting 16 minutes, like a million more Byzantines or like Christian forces appear. I can't see I can't see them winning this. Oh, maybe they could. Maybe they could if we can get these Imperial Scoots toy actually out here to come and join the fight. Could win this now. They just need to keep the general up. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be close. The dude is looking pretty weak. Oh, there you go. They're in there now. They're supporting that general. Oh no, he's gone. He's broken. The dude broke. But can they break their, uh, the guard cavalry as well? I don't know. I do not know. This is going to be really close. This is... Yeah. Well, if you can kill this cavalry... I mean, they, they pull it out, they die. If they, they keep it in, they probably die as well. Oh, they, they did manage to get it out. Well done. They lost a lot of men. They're going to lose this one, though. They're going to lose this general. But maybe he's not got a lot of cavalry left. Like a lot of army, sorry, left. Who knows? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Oh, a general has died. Uh, do doid. Uh, died. Yeah, there you go. I think they're going to try and charge the scooter toy. Or they should just send it here. Send the flank in here. If they had javies. If only these guys had javies. They're not going to just let, let them catch them, are they? They are. They have let them catch them. No. Oh, they're going to lose so many cavalry. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're just walking away. They're walking away. The scooter toy is just being allowed to... Really, they should just go and attack. Go and attack these uh, swords. I mean, they're actually going to break through here. Oh my gosh, they might do it, you know. They might do it. This is a bit of an issue over here. But this eliteness is like coming out now. It is coming down to the wire. No wonder it's going to take so long left. Like, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying. It's like got 40 minutes left, but it's going to be like 40 minutes of like really close, close action. Look at that guy, the officer, just telling his men, get forward. And setting up more swords to come and... They're gonna try and pull swords out of this gap here? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is this is what they wanted. They wanted these swords in here so they can now hammer an anvil. Oh, Scooter Toy, no! You did so well, you got one general. You see, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get those swords out there. And yeah, they're, getting, they're just getting cut down now. They should have given up while they still had the chance. Uh, it's a real shame. Real shame. More male cavalry coming in. These guys just finishing off the job. And yeah, they're wavering now, this sword unit. I thought they had a... They might slow a chance. But they, they should have just realized when... They, they'd done enough. They'd done enough damage. They should have just given up there and then. Just gone back inside the city. There you go. I think they've broken them. I think they've broken them. Yep, there you go. Broken. But they have actually got these swords behind. I think the, the idea was trying to go around here and get surrounded them. But they, they're losing decisively... Because they pulled through. And they're fighting these uh, guards, these guardsmen. It's just those guardsmen left, jeez. They have archers here. Uh, they need to get these infantry back inside to uh, the Emirates system if he wants to have a chance. His uh, infantry over here is just about holding. He's got some uh, heavy infantry just about surviving. More breaking from, uh, it looks like, from uh, the Emirates system. He's like, got troops breaking here. Fair enough. Don't know where his general is. Uh, oh, we need to be careful. Oh, they do still hold this gate? Okay, they still hold this gate. I swear <laughs> the Byzantines took this gate. Maybe not. Maybe because this unit's always up here, always stuck. They can never take that gate. Not a bad idea, not a bad play. These uh, Scooter Toy might need to deal, like, turn around, like, join the fight. These male archers now join the fight. They might be okay in combat. Look at all those angry archers, like, how dare you, like, come and take our city. Gagriano will stay as ours. What a good name that is, Gagriano. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Any Italian is probably going to like, butch me for the name. But that's how it sounds on uh, Google Translate. I actually, <laughs> that's how worried I was as pronouncing it wrong. Like, right, we're going to Google Translate. See how it sounds. Um, and I think I've got it fairly right. Fairly correct. And you can see he's going to uh, keep a scooter toy in reserve here. I think they're doing it on both sides. Smart. If only these guys had javies. <laughs> if only they had javies. Just march forward slowly and she'll wall. She'll wall. Uh, yeah, those swords can't get off the wall there, so... Don't know what they really think is going to happen there. Should march these guys forward. So, oh, you yeah, get the spears up. Go and take out those cavalry out there. Oh, more cavalry. This is a full unit of general cavalry. Jeez. Send these guys into the spears. That'll be funny. Oh, yeah, they're going to try and flank around. Look at this. They're going to try and flank around the swords. They're being clever. I, I respect this. Late game, they've not, they've not given up any tricks. Yeah, the spears is just going to go into the flank of the archers. The general's pulling away. He's That's fine. They're thinking, well, kill cool, these archers since they're here. Kill cool, these. Oh, no. Maybe the ch general's back, isn't he? Yeah. As soon as the guardsmen pulled out, I was like, I know what's, I know what's on. 
Yeah, oh, this is a bad move, bad move. Thank God he stopped doing that. I mean, the Pope won't be thanking God. He's dead, actually, as the Pope just realised. No, the Pope's dead. But uh, they'll be glad that they didn't charge. I mean, they won't be glad that they didn't charge into that. They really want to get some easy kills. Like, oh, here we go. They're going to just charge into these spears. Uh, they might get the initial charge off, but I don't know if that's going to be any good. This is also, like, the main general left. He's going to try this. Oh, they're going to move forward on those cavs. That's a bold, bold play. They're winning that fight the scooter toy here as well. The spears are losing. What? Cavalry, you shouldn't be beating spears. I know you got the charge off, but it wasn't a great charge. Also, these are guardsmen. Like they're not they're not any old wishy wash spears. These are the men that guard the Pope. And there you go, you can see the cavalry snuck in behind. They're going to try and take out... Actually, they might take out the Scooter Toy. They're going to take out this uh, cavalry. And they might then have to... Oh, they might kill that general. They might kill that general. Uh, yeah, I think I think the Scooter Toy is finished. Oh, my God. The ca yeah, there you go. The Spear's winning now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Prolonged melee. Prolonged melee. This is where the Guard Cavalry loses. They're starting to get poked off their horses with those long Spears. If they lose this cavalry unit, everything breaks here. And... Uh, and they're through, and they're through. And look at that, they're pulling off more troops to come and deal with these guys. That's huge. That's kind of, like, relieving this force over here. Actually, now it's, like, nothing compared to uh, held by the, like, the yellow players. That's good. So they don't have to worry about that at all. They do not have to worry about, about that at all. That's good. That's a good sign. Is, is this carry winning again? No, it is, is losing decisively. Okay. That's good to toy was winning at one point. It's still, still is, I guess, kind of. They need to set up more Imperial Scoot to toy. Take this. Oh, yeah, that, that's going to be painful for the Spears. They need to save the Spear unit. It's actually going to win this cavalry fight. They can mop up all this, and that's really good. It is really coming down to the wire now, guys. Like 400 against 500. I mean, it's more like 600 for the uh, for the Arabs. They're near. They've, like, got to the top of these steps of these, like, Byzantines. They're like, God, we've made it. Come on, just let us in. And they're like, no, never. Never. We will hold this. Never let you Byzantine scum in. Yeah, it's on to lose though, these guardsmen. That's a bad sign. The, and the guardsmen here, the papal guardsmen are losing as well. And they send those scooter toy. They're now find these uh, those guard cavalry again. And he said those uh, 53 papal guardsmen left. Get them out. Get the cavalry out. How has that general not died? He's been in combat so long. Look at all the dead cavalry here. Nuts. And they should route all these uh, mailed archers. And they just need to send in, like, a unit to just help deal with these guys. Oh, there's a huge chain route going on now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. They're losing here as well. Oh, please tell me they're not going to lose this, the uh, Arabs. They're doing so well. They killed so many Christians. So many. I mean, I I'm glad they're doing it, of course. I need to keep my uh, Pope persona on. Glad they're doing it for, for Christianity. Deus fault and all that. But, I mean, they've done such a good job. They had such a, like, bad chance, and, like, apparently according to the balance of power. And they've done so well. Some good defense. Like, Benevento wiped off the face of the earth before it was even created. The Byzantines nearly wiped off the face of the, off, face of the earth as well. Uh, and, like, the Papal States just got this unit left. They've got these guardsmen left, and that's it. Interesting to see how many kills they've got. They're losing both their units, losing here. Look at this. I mean, so are the uh, Scooter Toy, apparently. No one likes wants to win this fight, which is fair enough. Because you don't want to have to pick up all the bodies at the end. I, I understand that. Imagine being in this fight so long. It's like seeing hundreds of men and your, like, your friends and enemies like, get killed. Oh, they won! The Scooter Toy has won this fight and now they're able to wrap around. Oh, no. This cavalry needs to like get killed off by the uh, guardsmen if they want a chance. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna go for it. Please, please, you have one unit. How are you not focusing on your one unit, your spear unit? How are you not focusing on this unit? Uh, I don't know. This must be the general here. I have a feeling. Oh, he just got stabbed. Maybe it wasn't him. Thank God, maybe it wasn't. I don't know who who is the general, but he's winning this fight. No, he's not now. <laughs> he just got stabbed. No. Oh no, that's the last general I think gone for the uh, for the Muslim forces, but they're still holding. They're still holding over here. I'm just going to fast forward down for the benefit of the siege. 
Um, yeah, that's basically the only unit up there is actually holding. Yeah, forget that actually, like, it's actually a lot closer than you think. Like, they have 82 men that are just stuck on this wall here. I forgot about that. So, uh, and they got like a bunch that were like stood over here for some random reason, which can never get off the wall. But they've routed. Okay, so they, yeah, they're not in the battle anymore. Uh, but yeah, here you go. Actually, the scooter's totally going to break on this side, so they might still come down to just a single choke point. Uh, I mean, they need to desperately just get up onto, the, like, take this choke point, and then they can then flank around and do stuff and take the cap point. Oh, they're going to make it, because this scooter toy here is just about to hold. 39 men holding. This is not even the unit that's uh, got all those chevrons. That's, that's broken. That's long gone. This is a non-chevron unit. That is insane. Um, <laughs> God, that's nuts. They've just held... But the Papal Guardsman and the uh, Imperial Scooter Toy have got to the top of this uh, choke point. They're now in. They just have to get past this bit. Uh, yep, they're going to do that. Looks like one of the Muslim units broke. The Guardsman broke. So it's down to a single unit of uh, African Heavy Infantry. That's running. It's going all the way over here for some reason. Don't know why. You just need to take the cap point to the, uh, to the Christians. So, yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're just going to charge in. Last charge of the day. Oh, I know why it's going to take so long. I know there's four minutes left in because there's a unit you know, up here stuck on the wall. They're going to have to actually capture this physically. So I'll probably just like fast forward for that last bit just so we don't even have to see it. It looks like in history, like in history, it's going to be a uh, Christian victory again. Um, I mean, do they deserve it? Possibly. I mean, they did some okay plays. I mean, they obviously had like a lot of well Chevron stuff. But I personally feel like I'm rooting for those, uh, for the Muslim forces. They did so well. There you go. The Emirate of uh, Sicily is, is broken. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, I'm just fast forward now and just like get rid of that. So yeah, they're just going to capture this point. They're just uh, going to be left with these uh, African infantry up here that basically can't do anything. And these 82 men, like how much they're just probably like, no, our city. They're just looking out across it just like... Our city is burnt to its crisp. Literally nothing left. And it's not even ours anymore because they're capturing it. We're going to be a pushback. We will have to defend Sicily next. Gagriano has fallen. But yeah, I mean, this is a really good battle. I'm really glad I uh, had a look at it. And I mean, I've enjoyed the mod as it's gone on. Uh, like, I mean, the details for like some of the units aren't as great as, like, say, like, 1212. Or possibly even, like, um... Uh, Dark Ages. I think Dark Ages is, like, looks quite good in some aspects. But, I mean, yeah, this looks pretty good. I mean... I just don't like this cream yellow and or cream yellow and gold combo. It's not 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 for me. Um, but yeah, it looks really really good. And there you go, they've taken the point, uh, or basically taken the point. I don't know what's uh, really left to happen. There you go, they've taken it. And there's 140 odd seconds. So I mean, I'm just gonna quit, and I'll see you guys in a moment at the uh, at the end results. So here we are, guys. Uh, it's a valiant defeat for the uh, defenders. It was a really really good fight. I mean, they did really well. So uh, we'll have a look at these. Uh, these end results. So I mean, yeah, this was sent in by Sachex, who was playing as one of the uh, the Emirate of Sicily uh, army. So that's a uh, he did a good defense. To be fair, it was quite good. Very unlucky that he had like died at the end here. I mean, so yeah, his like general got forty seven kills. I thought he got more than that. His carry units were like were really good. His guardsmen were getting fifty six kills, uh, which is kind of like surprising. His uh, swords here though, his African heavy infantry getting one hundred and fifty two kills, one hundred and ninety six. His archers getting one hundred and fifty two. His cavalry getting uh, one hundred and thirty six. And it's Onage getting 49 kills. The Paranoid, who was playing as a, another Emirate of Sicily, has a much la a smaller army, but I guess more elite. He brought more of these guardsmen, which got 215 kills. His general getting 365. Jeez. His uh, African Heavy Infantry getting 284, 297. And his uh, archers, like mailed archers, 266, 193. Like all of his archers got into like the 180s, 190s, in 200s in that case. Mail cavalry getting 105. And his Farah, who's playing as the final Emirate of Sicily player, uh, had a lot of Berber spears, like spam them out, just kind of like, I guess, taking them as cannon fodder. One of them got uh, 108 kills, which is pretty good. His general getting 103. His uh, African heavy infantry getting 160, the best one. And then his uh, archers getting 113 kills and his cavalry not doing as well as uh, his teammates, but still getting 32 kills. Then we have Bob Toad, who's playing as the uh, Duchy or the Principality of uh, Benevento. His uh, Gaslidge Guardsman General getting 200, uh, 200, uh, 28 kills. Sorry, uh, His uh, Guardsman getting 65, so they're probably really expensive as well. And these units are all like gold chevron. Jeez. Uh, his Gaslidge Swords getting 103. Uh, his uh, archer's getting 66 and his cavalry getting only 46 kills. Jeez, that's unfortunate. Aiden, who was playing as the Papal States, uh, he got 94 kills with his guard cavalry, 111 with his Papal Guardsmen, 
188 with uh, the, and actually quite a lot of goals, 188, 192, 203, did really well with these last few here, these few didn't do as well, uh, and then his swords, 332, 323, 195, geez, the paper states it work, uh, and then like his knight taking 137, so that's not too bad. Then we have, uh, then we have uh, Geo Ghost uh, Greek, who's playing as the Byzantine Empire. It kind of makes sense. Greek's playing as the Byzantine Empire. Uh, his Do Guard getting a 41 kills. His uh, Imperial Scooter Toy getting 156. His, uh, like, oh, actually, even better 171, 177, 237, 222. So he's got some good kills with some of his Scooter Toy. You've got, like, gold chevrons. Uh, his mailed uh, Toxite only getting 100, uh, only getting 69 kills. Why do I keep thinking they're getting 100 kills? It's because they're doing so well over here with their archers, the Sicili Sicilians. And then uh, Tama Mata, uh, Tag Mata um, Cavalry, sorry, getting 128 kills. So that was a really good siege, a really, really close one. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one.